last couple of days there have been big changes at OpenAI including two very big acquisition and in this video I'm going to break it down for you. The very recent one is OpenAI is officially acquiring a company called Alex. If you're an iOS developer you might have heard about Alex. Alex Codes is one of the most celebrated AI assistant for Xcode and uh, this is outside of Apple. Apple owns Xcode. Apple doesn't do a great job with Xcode so Alex Codes is like the cloud code for iOS developers. But today Alex Codes announced that they're going to join OpenAI's Codex team to build what they call as Cursor for Xcode. And um, this is what they've been already building and they're going to be part of Codex and then do it. This is coming at a time where OpenAI is doubling down on their efforts with Codex because Codex now works with your OpenAI plan and Codex is also a Visual Studio Code extension and Codex in the cloud and Codex CLI is getting celebratory rave reviews on social media. So overall, it seems like a great news for Codex users. Very interestingly, OpenAI has allowed Alex to serve their existing customers, but they're going to stop any new download of the application from October 1st. That means if you have already installed the application, they're going to continue serving it, but I don't know how long they're going to do it, but there won't be any new feature. But if you have not used it, then you can't download it starting October 1st. This is the first acquisition. And the second acquisition is OpenAI is acquiring a popular product in the product analytics or data science world. This is called Statsig. If you are into A-B testing or experimentation, there is a very good chance that you've heard about this company and this company CEO, the guy, like literally the guy who started the company, the founder CEO, Vijaya Raji is going to become the CTO of applications within OpenAI. Now for you to understand what does it even mean? What is this applications? I'm going to take you back to another acquisition that OpenAI did, but in this case, it's not a company, it's a human. So OpenAI decided to bring in somebody called Fiji Simo who was at that time CEO of Instacart. CEO of Instacart at the age of 39 has decided to leave Instacart and join OpenAI under a new team called Applications. So this includes all the ChatGPT and everything that OpenAI builds, all the applications that OpenAI builds. And in fact, OpenAI also added Fidji as a board of director. Fidji Simo was previously with Facebook. So she was one of the top executives as Facebook and the acquisition that they recently made, the CTO of applications here, Vijay Raji, is going to report into Fidji. So Fidji is the CEO and Vijay Raji is the CTO. And you can read more about the expanded leadership with Fidji in the YouTube description. I'll link the article. Now there is a connection between Fidji and Vijaya. How is it? Both of them worked at Facebook together. And since yesterday, I've been breaking my head to understand why OpenAI acquired Statsig, but this is the answer. OpenAI acquired Satsig, I think probably because Fiji wanted the team or Fiji wanted the founder and that is what is happening today. So OpenAI has officially acquired Statsig because Vijay Raji and Fiji work together. Now that is not the only change that OpenAI is making because there is a new CTO and because there is a new CEO of applications, OpenAI's own previous chief product officer, Kevin Wheel, is moving out into a different team. So it's, it just said that. OpenAI for science is something that is going to be called as team and they're going to research, do research around like medicine, bioscience, that sort of thing. So now this is very similar to what Google DeepMind was before Google DeepMind became Google DeepMind. So it was initially DeepMind and they were doing a lot of bio related research and that is where they did protein folding alpha fold. And now you have got OpenAI for science where OpenAI is saying that Kevin is going to lead this team. I'm not sure what kind of internal dynamics are there. Recently, there has been a lot of push from OpenAI about medical research and that sort of thing. So this team is going to deal with that particular sort of thing. Final update is that Srinivas Narayan, who was VP of engineering, is going to take a role of CTO of B2B applications. Vijaya Raji is going to become CTO of applications, reporting it to Fidji. And this is also going to include Srinivas Narayan, who was previously VP of engineering. So the VP of engineering is going to become CTO of B2B applications. So it seems like OpenAI is going to create two different teams, one for consumer application, one for B2B application. And for consumer application, Vijay Raji might become the CTO. Um, we don't have enough details about it, but this is going to be the product engineering for ChatGPT and Codex. And uh, Srinivas Narayan is going to be the B2B side of it. There is a lot of information on his tweet about how he's stoked to build this team and grow this team, be part of this team and be part of Fidji, be part of like Vijay Raji. 
So overall, OpenAI has been doing like crazy thing. Like for example, this acquisition of Statsig is $1.1 billion on all stock and Statsig recently was kind of valued around the same price. So they kind of took the same price, came to OpenAI. So that means there is like something really, really big for the founder to make this choice. And OpenAI is doubling down on the application side of things, whether it is B2B or B2C or even like federal government stuff. This might be a bad news for Microsoft, whose bread and butter, part of bread and butter is also enterprise applications. But we'll wait and see what is going to happen between Satya Nadella and Sam Altman. But for now, these are the updates from OpenAI. Let me know if you found anything weird. See you in another video. Happy prompting.